All right, sesame chicken, one of those classic Chinese takeout dishes, but let's make it from J. Kenzie Lopez Alt. So to get started, we need to make our sauce. So take two tablespoons of a light soy sauce, two tablespoons dark soy sauce, and then one tablespoon cornstarch and give a stir until well combined. Then add two tablespoons Shaoxing wine, two tablespoons white vinegar, three tablespoons of chicken stock, five tablespoons of white sugar, and one tablespoon of roasted sesame oil, and then you're gonna stir until the sugar is dissolved. Now we're gonna need two teaspoons of fresh ginger. Now this is about a half inch segment, so just peel and mince, and in the same fashion, we're also gonna need two teaspoons of fresh garlic, which is about two cloves, and mince that as well. The prep of the chicken and the dry coating is gonna be the same as our orange chicken video, so you're gonna wanna start with one pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and cut that into one half to three quarter inch chunks. For the marinade, we're going to take one large egg white and you're going to whisk that until nice and frothy and then we're going to add one tablespoon light soy sauce two tablespoons Shaoxing wine and two tablespoons of vodka and you're going to mix that together now in a separate container reserve half your marinade and in the original bowl add a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and then three tablespoons of cornstarch and stir that together ensuring that no clumps remain and that it's nice and smooth then we're going to add our chicken to the marinade and we're going to mix by hand just making sure that each piece of chicken is fully coated and then we're going to cover with plastic wrap and I would refrigerate for at least an hour but up to overnight for the best flavor. We're also going to do the same thing to the marinade. For the dry coating, take a large bowl and add a half cup of all-purpose flour, a half cup of cornstarch, a half teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt and mix that together. Then for extra crispy bits with our chicken, we're going to pour a reserved marinade from the night before into the dry mixture and then use a whisk to stir. Now for coating the chicken, we're going to add in a few pieces at a time and then we're going to just make sure that the chicken is fully coated and that no bare pieces remain and then set on a separate tray when we're ready for frying. Then take a wok or a large pot, fill with some vegetable oil and bring to 350 degrees and slowly add in your chicken. We want to make sure that we're not overcrowding the wok so don't put too much in and stir around and cook for about four minutes until it becomes nice and golden brown. Then we're going to remove and place on a paper towel lined baking sheet. Once your chicken is done, take a large pan and over medium heat add a little bit of peanut oil and then we're going to add in our minced garlic and ginger and stir around and cook for about two minutes until it becomes soft but not brown. At this point we can add our remaining sauce into the pan and bring to a light boil and cook for only about a minute until it coats the back of the spoon. It's going to get thick really fast due to that cornstarch. Then you can turn off the heat and add two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds. Stir around and your sauce is done. Our last step is to take all the chicken that we cooked and add it directly into the sauce and then you're going to want to take a rubber spatula and just stir the chicken and make sure that each piece is fully coated with the sauce. We don't want any bare pieces of chicken remaining and then you're ready to plate. Now nothing goes better with sesame chicken than some fresh white rice so adding a couple spoonfuls into a bowl top with plenty of your sesame chicken I garnished with some green onion and there you have it sesame chicken from J. Kenzie Lopez Alt. If you guys like the video please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.